Hello Virgo, I am Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your November reading. If you are new to this channel and feel guided to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit it twice, that little bell, so that you can be notified of all future updates. And I do upload quite frequently, guys. So just a couple of announcements before we get started on your November monthly reading, because I know that you're eager to see what everything's in store for you. Um, please uh, keep in mind that I also have, I'm also on some other social media platforms. I have a Facebook page under Harmonia Tarot. Um, I do go on there live, typically on Monday or Tuesday nights around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and those are donation based, but also I give a completely separate weekly reading on there too. So I would love to see you guys on board there. And you know, if you feel guided to, to go ahead and like that. I also have an Instagram page that's, um, it, it's, it's fairly new, but what I'm doing is daily card pulls on there. So if you're into inspiration or just want to check in, uh, those are great messages as well. All right, so Virgo, as always, <clears throat> I ask of you to utilize your own intuition when we are going through this reading. This reading is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single Virgo out there, okay? So utilize your own intuition, take what resonates, leave the rest, and as always, time is fluid and moving, so some of this may have actually happened a little bit. Some of it may be happening to you now. Um, I know that we're still in October when I'm releasing these. Um, and then, you know, it could also be a little bit down the road, but I do pull it in for November energy. I start off with some Oracle cards. We're going to start off with the Allison in Wonderland Oracle this month. I'm going to pull an animal spirit and then we're going to get into the tarot cards. I do the beginning of the month, the middle of the month and the end of the month. Okay. It's just linear times and I validate on them with some healing cards and healing messages at the end. So it's a pretty pretty lengthy uh, reading, but hopefully it will reach to many of you some messages that come across, okay? So let's get started, Virgo. Calling in our guides and ancestors and ascended masters of what messages that Virgo needs to hear. What does Virgo need to hear for the month of November? What messages do we have for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Here we go. <clears throat> we have lead the way. Be a leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. Follow the white rabbit, curiosity meets opportunity. Set your course, know where you wish to go. Have a plan, the right direction. Lead the way. Look at this. Virgo, I feel for many of you, um, <clears throat> you have reached basically a new like you might have a lot of new beginnings in your way and I feel like you are pushing forward people are watching you people are admiring how far you've come and I feel like you've basically hit this bar that makes one or people interested in what's going on what's happening with you um, you are not afraid of taking leaps I feel for many of you um, you have gone through Probably a lot of um, turmoil, whether it was, uh, you know, past relationships or uh, career issues or feeling, feeling like you're stuck. Um, you basically are feeling, I feel for many of you, that you feel that you don't, um, you know, sweat the small stuff. You've gone through that. You are being optimistic, especially with follow the white rabbit here. This is curiosity. You know, with the rabbits, also fertility. So there's something that's I feel for many of you Virgos out there that is going to be abundant, something that's going to make you happy. Set your course. Many of you may be relocating or going to a new position or you're starting a new relationship. This is basically having a plan, knowing the plans in place. It's already taken its course to me. That's how I'm feeling. I feel for many of you this is. I think too, <clears throat> for another group of you, there is this need to take more of a leadership role in your life, okay? Not necessarily like charging forth, you know, in the career and stuff like that. I feel like you might feel like you're just stuck and you haven't hit this mode. So I do feel like some of you are already there and others of you are just starting out to realizing it. Maybe you've been really working on yourself, especially in the self-love department. Let's see what animal spirit you're pulling in for this month, Virgo animal guidance do you have for this month? A lot of birds in this card too. Koi fish spirit. There is always enough. There is always enough. I feel um, 
if there's anything, and this is kind of what I was stating for the, the first phase of you, um, for the first group. Um, I feel for many of you, you do know that there is enough, right? Like, it's like any bad shit that has happened to you, whether it's the past several months or the whole, some, some of it has been more than a year. Um, like I said, you're not sweating the small stuff, but you are still feeling um, happiness, abundance. And abundance doesn't necessarily mean to have to be like financial. It could be abundance in life, right? Abundance in love, abundance um, with just happiness, feeling okay with yourself, knowing that um, if things come your way, there's always there's always going to be room for improvement or finding a new path. And you're not scared of it. I feel that, you know, especially with this, you know, follow follow the white rabbit you aren't scared you're you're curious you want to know what path uh, comes your way and i feel like there's this readiness right um there's there's this readiness of knowing that there's no lack um that you'll be okay no matter what even if it you are in a lack kind of mentality right now or you know it's just you know it is what it is you might not um you know have um some financial hardships or anything like that let's see what the tarot has to say for this month What does Tara have to say for Virgo? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> we have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Four of the Four of Wands reversed. We have that Hangman. There's that standstill um, information that we started off with in, earlier, which I said that some of you were felt like you were in that stuck mode. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords reversed. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Chariot reversed. It's that need of wanting to go. We have Three of Swords reversed. The overall energy is the five of wands this is fire energy you may have fire in your chart virgo um so leo sagittarius or aries but this is about do you see how many hands are in here some of this is defensive energy some of this is like the environment's feeling like you have to defend yourself or against yourself remember i said that leadership role it's it's time for you to lead i feel for many of you whatever conflict you are and some of this may be um you know some of this is is work related others this is about a family situation i feel like you are the person that brings everybody together it's almost like you might be that person that um helps get rid of this defensive energy okay but it's like when you step in the middle of that you have to be really really balanced and i feel what here with this six of pentacles here this is all about an equal give and take right i feel this is something and this is your energy too virgo is that this is the individual that you are okay some people can say that this is breadcrumbing but i don't feel like it's in this case i feel like it's like you are trying to be balanced and being um, equal and listening to every, you know, just listening to what everyone has to say. Um, for some of you in a partnership with a family member or spouse, I feel that um, this is about bringing ease to your spouse. Make, you know, they might see you as the one who, you know, not the breadwinner in the family, but the one who takes care of things. Okay. Now, this has brought you burden, okay? With the Seven of Swords here, this is about like sneaking off, but you know, it's like, there's two swords here, so this is definitely a partnership or something, but it's like carrying all the weight and going, am I doing this the right way? Now, you may have felt, um, you know, within the beginning of this month that um, you've had to clear a lot of stuff out of your way to get to this balance. You see how it's going towards that? It's not necessarily sneaking off, but it's not comfortable how he's holding the swords. He's holding it right by the, um, right by like the end of it. With the four of wands reversed, this is not to me a negative thing, okay? I feel like with this is a happy life, happy, happy families is that fire energy too. So you, you're, you're a significant other might be a fire sign. But to me, with the reverse, it's that reconcile. It's trying to make things right, okay? Um, whatever that conflict may have been, um, you are really trying, you want to reconcile it, especially with it going towards it. And it might be the other individual who's going towards it too, okay? Basically. 
but I feel like it's you. I feel like it's strongly you wanting to reconcile a situation so that, um, you know, you can set things right. It has put you in that hang mode energy, okay? That's that hangman. This is all about, eh, I'm stuck at the moment, but I'm not uncomfortable, you know? It's that, like, I'm going to lead the way. I know it. But, um, you know, this might be the time where you're setting that course, okay? But do you see, I notice her face, really. It's kind of like, she's kind of unsure, right? And that's, I feel that... The uncertainty is not on you. I feel that something um, or someone in your life is bringing you this defensive energy, right? Of being a little bit egotistical, okay? Making it hard for you to rationalize with this individual, okay? So this is the five of swords. This is swords energy. There's a lot of sword energy here. So you might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But do you see how either these swords are down and the other people are just sitting here like this? This individual, it's like, can be, come off as egotistical, making it feel like um, they got the better hand, okay? It's not over this, this month. I feel that you're going through this still, that um, you want to see the bigger horizons, right? You're going towards that horizons. But with the 10 of swords here, and that's more air energy, this individual in your life um, has brought a lot of pain, okay? So when you're at this level, this is about basically being phew, dead, okay? Like, I'm exhausted, I'm dead. You're deader than dead, right? But it's a completion. It's over, okay? That's where new beginnings come in. When it's reversed like this, it's like you're still going through that death. You're still going through that pain. I don't feel like it's stopping you. What I feel like is that you are going through some emotional, you know, you're, you're going through the emotions right now. You're not blocking it. You are definitely moving away from it because we have the Eight of Cups right next to this Ten of Swords. So I do feel like this month, it's you're not going to be holding on to this. Um, you're not going to be holding on to these feelings. You're not going to be holding on to these grudges. Um, I don't feel like this is... Um, I don't feel like uh, this is something where... It's an end of a relationship. I think it's, and it's not even a misunderstanding. It's just accepting in a level of like, is that worth fighting for, right? Am I really willing um, to, to sweat that small stuff? That's what it is. That's what I was telling you in the beginning is like, you don't sweat the small stuff. And I feel like you're walking away from that. You don't want to hold a grudge. Um, you know, these are cups that, you know, you have here that's emotional. I mean, this is all about flowing with emotion, but you're walking away from something that no longer serves you. You're not holding on to it. And this is definitely your energy because with the four of pentacles reverse, this is about holding on, right? Feeling like you, you know, you have to hold on to everything. Um, afraid you're going to lose something, okay? With this reversed, with this reverse going towards this, it's like you're not afraid, you're not afraid to lose anything at this point, you know? Um, for for those of you, this is career-based. This could definitely be a boss. This could be someone where you're like, I'm not afraid to lose this job. Um, for those of you, like I said, in the relationship, I feel like you're not afraid that you're going to lose this relationship. You just feel like you're going to get over it, right? Like you guys are going to work together, maybe try to compromise it. Now, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. We're going to validate these cards. But this is for like towards the end of the month. So this is all about a s stability, something that's being stable offered to you. I feel right now with you walking away and, you know, this is just that foundation of like this, like you're accepting the loss. You're accepting that um, this person may not um, agree with, uh, you know, giving you an apology. You might be okay with that. But this is, a you know, with the Page of Wands here, this is about a new beginning, right? You're venturing off to something, okay? Starting anew, okay? Now, we have the Chariot reversed, okay? So, for those of you that I said earlier, um, I felt like there was movement or relocation. Some of the arguments that might have come about this is somebody might have brought up um, a relocation, I feel this strongly um, in a relationship that might have caused arguments. Maybe you guys are feeling comfortable in a spe uh, specific situation and someone has all of a sudden, um, you know, got a good job opportunity and it's basically uplifting or uprooting the whole family. And that's where it could feel like a little bit egotistical. I know that's a specific message, but, you know, that's something that just 
really needed to come out. I feel like this is at a standstill, you know? I feel like there's the thoughts of it about a new beginning, about trying to move on from it. But with the Three of Swords here, reverse, this is about getting out of the heartbreak, having something that makes you feel like um, you can get through it. I feel like that reconciling and compromising is going to still be there. I feel like with that, with the idea of setting the course or leading the way, is like you're going to be leading by example, okay? And I feel like that's really going to be strongly something that your significant other is going to see. And the same thing if this is career, like I said, if this is a relocation or, you know, a change in a position that, you know, you were worried about, um, you weren't holding on to the fact that you were going to get it or not see the opportunity, you're looking for better opportunities towards you. A lot of messages for you, Virgo, this month. Let's see, let's try to validate the Six of Pentacles. The Fool reversed, okay? So this is all about being vulnerable, right? Taking a risk. I feel like you know, like to me, I always think this is a new beginning, a new new start. I don't think this is um, taking a risk in a good way. I feel with this reversed on top of the Six of Pentacles, it's not about not taking a risk. It's like you don't see it. You really don't see it's a good move, okay? You might not think it's a good move whatever your spouse or partner has, has been doing. That's what this, that energy of, you know, like sneaking off. and the, Or that could be you. Um, being presented an opportunity that you don't think is good. Okay, we do have the Ten of Swords again. You guys got two ten, so there's definitely completion happening on top of the Seven of Swords. So whatever news that you got, um, I feel for many of you, this is like, oh my God, like this is going to change our life completely. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I want that. Let's see what's on... The Four of Wands reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this, to me, especially in this, in the Rider deck, he can kind of come off as stubborn, but also, like, not really caring. Like, he's just kind of looking out for himself, okay? In this deck. I know, like, he means there's abundance, there's something that um, is stable in here. I feel like whatever whatever reconcile or whatever thing that is disrupting the family life or your position, there's definitely a, not an agreement here. You're not agreeing with the changes that are in place. With this reverse, it's almost like you're afraid there's gonna be a lack of uh, stability or foundation in this relationship that could bring hardship to the family or with this position change. Let's see what's on the hangman. Wow. This is definitely relationship I Hangman, we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So do you, and this deck, this is somebody, when I see her this way, I feel like she's remorse, right? She's looking down, and this is definitely for those of you in a relationship, because look, it's like by like, okay? These, these two are, they're right next, they, they literally fell right next to each other. But um, they're imbalanced, okay? Um, one person's looking at it like they're almost taking a loss, even that they have, you know, this this foundation. Another one is is looking at it like um, I'm willing willing to, right? Like I, I'm willing to, you know, it is what it is. We have to take this leap. Let's see what's on the Five of Swords. A lot of validation with your own energy here, Virgo. Curious if you are dealing with another Earth sign. On the Five of Swords. Can you please validate the Five of Swords, please? Yeah. So, with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, and she is like my absolute favorite. I love her. Um, she's confident. She's independent. She's on her own. With this reverse, with the Five of Swords, um, and this could be like I, I do feel like this is another individual. Um, you know, not necessarily you. I feel this is your energy, but this. This basically, whatever was said, whatever happened between the two of you has knocked down your feeling of confidence, of feeling that you can do something on your own. It's like you want to work together, right? It, but um, whatever words or, or harsh things were said, and I don't feel like it was made to like knock you down a level of being um, 
abusive, I think this was being acted out on a ego, right? On ego as lashing out as a, like a protection thing, you know, of why they made the decisions that they did, right? Let's see um, what's on the Ten of Swords reversed. What's on the Ten of Swords reversed? Please clarify this for a spirit. Yeah, Two of Swords, options, crossroads, right? Not quite getting out of that yet. See how she's blindfolded? Not sure or aware what's going to happen, okay? Feel like, feeling like she can't make a decision, okay? So I feel that, um, you know, for many of you, when this, ha when, when this is going to happen, or if it has happened already, um, for many of you, it is going to make you feel like I don't, you, you don't have a choice, but you do have a choice because you have that Eight of Cups here. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Yeah, I, I do believe that you're, you're not going to be in this energy um, long with the chariot on here. And that chariot, again, is about, like, to me, I just feel like for many of you, this is about relocating to some start or, or some way um, on this. So I do feel like there's, there's some kind of movement. I just feel like there's a relocation for a lot of you. Let's see what the four of pentacles is about or a new position. Yeah. I don't like, I feel like whatever mode that this put, puts you in, and this is your energy too. Okay. With the hermits reverse, okay? These were both reverse, so that's not holding on to. I feel like you're not holding on to, it's not that you're not being enlightened because you are looking for the light. I feel like you're ready to come out and move forward on talking on something later down the month. I feel like um, you won't be in that energy of letting things go too long. Yeah, we have the higher font on top of this, on top of the Ace of Pentacles. So. With that um, reverse, and this is all about, look at that number five, change. So this is going to be a big change. It's going to be a change in a commitment. Um, it's going to be, it's going to, and I'm not saying the change, the status of the commitment. I feel like it's going to evolve the relationship, okay? Um, maybe letting bygones speak bygones. Like I said, that leading by example. If this is a relationship for work, I feel like um, it's not going to make anything in jeopardy. It's just going to change the stature of it. Let's see what we have on the page of rods. I'm staring down at my cat who I'm just ready to knock over the table. <laughs> He's kind of that way. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you with this three of cups energy, this is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, but I feel like you're really looking forward to a new start, a new beginning. You want to go into that celebration mode, but I feel like with what's happening a lot, um, like I said, it's that change when that change happens. I feel like it's and I don't think this of this is like so many people I feel like it's like family oriented. There's gonna be a, bring a lot of happiness on um, moving forward. I feel like whatever actions that you are going to be taking it's really going to show to this person um, a new way of life or a new way of a new way a new perception, right? Be a leader show others how it's done. You can help others. You're really going to help. You're really going to help um, your family in a sense with this. Or you're going to even help, you know, if you're if you're working this career based, you're really going to help your boss or something in a way of um, realizing how strong you are. The chariot reversed has the page of cups on here. Okay. Now the page is new energy a new start. I feel like, um, you know, and this is a, this is a small offer. I feel like with the, you, you just gotta be remember that you might have to start small, especially if you're relocating, um, moves can be expensive. Um, you might have a different, um, lifestyle than you're used to, meaning that you have to downsize, but there's, there's something that is fruitful about this. Okay. Even with the page energy, it's about growth. It's about going through it. I feel that for many of you, um, that you are willing to take this leap. Let's see what's on the swords. The three of swords can validate. The wheel of fortune. There's that change. There's that kicking out of something old um, that does not serve that. And I feel like you're that's what's gonna be kicked out is this, this three of hearts, this pain, okay? So I feel like that's definitely moving on there. With the um, underneath the deck um, for our final um, 
cards on here, we have that eight of cups. So you are, you're definitely moving. You're definitely moving away. Um, you're definitely moving away from things that emotionally did not serve you. You may feel a little bit um, in this month of feeling like you're juggling a lot. This is your own energy too, that balance. But you see how it's making that infinity? There's abundance here. So whatever change that's going to come about, it's going to bring a, a really big change of abundance and it doesn't have to be financial like I said I think a lot of this abundance is family life is going to change okay you're gonna get out of this energy oh right underneath that I just saw you have the three foundation so there's a new foundation that's coming in place here with this three of wands um, underneath that deck so I definitely feel like for many of you this is this is a move I know this is gonna be pretty specific but I feel like that's definitely a move right um, and you're not and these, these cards are repeating. I'm going to stop right here. This was reversed. So that's the same energy as, um, you know, earlier what we had here with the miser card. So you're not holding on to old stuff anymore. You are definitely going to be lead the way. I feel that for many of you, you have set a course. You absolutely have set a course. And I think that um, it's just about compromising and realizing, you know, what to, um, you know, What's, what are you willing to let go of um, so that you can move forward? But I do feel like, I do feel like there's tension in the home front with whatever decision was made, whether this is a job change or a move. I feel like it's affecting more than one person and that's where the defensive energy is. But however you're handling it, you're handling it in a very smooth way this month. I don't feel like you're being egotistical about it. I feel like you are just showcasing that um you know how strong you are and how flexible you can be with um accepting people like there's so much unconditional love i feel for you virgo like i feel like you just know really how to give unconditional love out to others without it affecting you like you know like you, you can give yourself unconditional love too right it's that um it's it's that um self-love right it's that love for yourself okay we have the past present and future here stripping illusions with sacred space past present future look at all these birds in here I feel like you are being very present okay um, although it mentions all of them I feel like spirits reminding you not to be stuck so much into the past because when we're stuck into the past we get nostalgic and can be very you know, there, there can be things that we become sad at. If we go too far into the future, it brings anxiety. But if we stay present, it gives us that kind of, you know, equality, that balance. So I feel like spirits reminding you, um, you know, to stay present, to um, not let the past or the future shape you to the point where it's keeping you feeling in that hangman energy that we had earlier here. I feel like with stripping illusions next to it, this lotus flower, I feel like um, you are going to get clarity. You are breaking through barriers that, um, or and old programming too, um, old beliefs, things that made you feel stuck before, a lack before, saying there there could be a new not not a new start. People who didn't believe in you, you're stripping all those illusions away. You are knowing your own worth, Virgo. I feel for many of you, you um, have that confidence in you, and I feel like, I do feel like strongly this is this is a move. With sacred space here, this is also about um, having that space for you, okay? okay? Creating those boundaries. But I feel like with this, it's a move, right? Like you might have started here and you're moving on to here. So I feel like there's something in the water that's much bigger than where you were. But you're really unwinding. You're really unraveling into something much bigger. And you're going to be creating a sacred space for you that fits you. It, that brings a vibration. That's that ripple effect here, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, there's there's two spirals here so that th this is coming undone to, to form something bigger, something that is more um, attuned to you, especially with this flame underneath here. So I really feel like this is something that brings you a lot of passion. You might have a very passionate um, feelings about um, this new beginning. All right, Virgo, if um, this resonated with you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. I love to read everyone's comments. If No, you don't have to comment if even if it um, doesn't resonate. Just say hello because I love exchanging energy with you guys, and I always send you love and light. All right, take care, and I will see you next month, Virgo.